Well, my friends, here we are. We've been in, deeply examining linear regression. We have started by looking at introduction. We looked at linear functions. Uh, we went from there to examining best fit lines. We wrote questions. Then we ran a linear regression in SPSS, and now it behooves us to examine the readout from that SPSS analysis. So we'll start, the, the, I want to note that the SPSS readout includes a lot of information that is needed for our analysis. Unfortunately, it also includes a lot of information that is not needed. Our job is to glean the information that we need to determine if the study has a reasonable correlation between the variables. Then we will also establish the linear regression model if such is the case. Uh, our goal now will be to examine the readout that we got. And you remember we had a readout entitled Regression by Dr. Dog. The first thing that we come into the readout to notice that we will need are our descriptive statistics. Our total enrollment had a mean enrollment of 11,567. And our part-time enrollment, a mean enrollment of 7,703. And we had 63 institutions. You notice that I round the, those up. The next variable that would be of interest to us is this Pearson correlation between the variables, a very strong correlation, 0.993. 99% correlation is really pretty profound. And you notice we have R and we have R square. And of course, you know that R is the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. You've done well. Now, some of the things that we don't need, we have ANOVA here, which we really don't need that. But let's, let's, let's drop that down a second and look at these coefficients. Uh, here's what's important, our constant, negative 378.298. You need to write that down. That is uh, B. Then the total enrollment, 0 0.699, that is A, which is the slope. So we have our... our uh, descriptives, we have our correlation which is appropriate, and now we have A, the slope, and B, the constant, uh, the constant that we need to put into our formula, Y equals AX plus B. We'll look at that in just a moment. Well, going through the readout really wasn't that bad, was it? When we went through the readout, we've established the following. First of all, we obtained our descriptives. We, we know what the average total enrollment is. We know what the average part-time enrollment is. We know the number of institutions we examined, and we know the standard deviation for each of those variables. So we obtained our descriptives, and in doing so, we answered our first research question. We, in our second research question, first of all, we did it. We established a reasonable level of correlation. R equals 0.993 is a very profound correlation. But doesn't it make sense to you that as an institution's total enrollment grows, the number of part-time enrollment would be very closely uh, correlated? Then we developed a linear regression model. Now you remember we had our coefficient B, negative 378.298, and we had our, uh, our slope A, 0.699. So our model uh, for, for growth of the size of the part-time enrollment in these institutions, Y is equal to 0.699 times the full-time enrollment minus 378.298. That is, that is a very profound model that we have developed there. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. Your patronage keeps my family fed. Hope these videos are proving useful to you. There are a lot of work to produce, but... Just like it's a lot of work to produce them, it's a lot of work to learn it as well. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life.